So for plural you, we have ette, but we mentioned that with verbs with the accent on the end, we could have ite or ate. So far, we saw some ite examples, no? Borite, prospatite, zite. Those verbs ending au, or like we've seen, they can end au or o, like milau, rotau, agabau, use ate. So you guys are speaking? Milate. Milate. What was the word for for in the sense of for my friend? Ja. Ja, good. Ja can also mean about, about. But if you say, what are you guys talking about? You probably won't say about what are you guys talking? Why? Run me through that. How would that be? About what are you guys talking? Ja ti milate. Ja ti milate. And what does that sound like? Ja ti milate. Um, what does that mean? Ja ti milate. Well, it could be like, why are you talking? Why are you talking? So we won't use this to say, what are you talking about? It will sound like, why are you talking? Ja ti milate. So to say, what are you talking about? You can say, about what thing are you talking? Ja ti pragma. Or about which thing? Ja pio pragma. So how would that be? What are you guys talking about? Ja pio pragma milate. Ja pio pragma milate. So we have ate, no, with this au verbs for you plural. But it doesn't confuse with the ate of the past, no? Because of course with that we have our closed version. So what is the closed version of milau? Miliso. Miliso. And then if we wanted to say, what did you guys speak about? About which thing did you guys speak? Ya pio pragma milisate. Very good. Ya Pio pragma, ya ti pragma, milisate. So, what are you guys talking about? Ya pio pragma, milate. What did you guys speak about? Ya pio pragma, milisate. Also, the informal you with these au verbs, rotao, milao, agapao, is as, as. So, we get, for example, you speak milas. Milas. What are you speaking about? Ja pio pragma milas. Ja pio pragma milas. You love? Agapas. Agapas. You are asking. Rotas. Rotas. What are you asking? Ti rotas. Ti rotas. Or about what thing are you asking? Ja pio pragma rotas. Ja pio pragma rotas. What are you guys asking about? Ja pio pragma rotate. Ja pio pragma rotate. So again, milau, I speak, and you speak informally? Milas. Milas. Do you speak Greek? Milas elenica. Milas elenica. Do you guys or do you formal speak Greek? Milate elenica. Milate elenica. But is ate and as is only used in the standard open form of the verb. Otherwise, we go back to our normal endings. So, if you were to say, you will speak, talking informally. So, you will speak informal. Thamilisis. Thamilisis. And you guys will speak? Thamilisat. So, only in the standard open form of the verb do we have ate, milate. Otherwise, we go back to ete. Tamilisete. Tamilisete. What will you guys speak about? Ja pio pragma tamilisete. Good. Ja pio pragma tamilisete. Perpatao. Perpatao means to walk. Perpatao. Perpatao. Probably from peri and patao meaning step. Perpatao. Perpatao. I walk. We also have the floor, topatoma, which is related, of course, topatoma, the floor. How would you say, let's walk? As per patame. Okay, but we will use the closed version, no? As per patissam. As per patissam. As per patissum. As per patissum. So, per patau has A-O on the end. So, how would you say, are you walking informally? Perpatas. Perpatas. And talking to more than one person or speaking formally? Perpatate. Perpatate. Will you guys walk? 
asta pe arpa toată. This would maybe be more like will you guys be walking? Sa pe arpa tisată. Ate? Sa pe arpa tisată. Good. So we only use ate in the standard open form, no? Otherwise we go back to ete. Sa per patisete. Very good. And in the past, we go back to the past endings, of course. So, did you guys walk? Per patisate. Why did you guys walk? Yati per patisate. Yati per patisate. Very good. What was I ask? Rotao. Rotao. The closed version? Rotiso. Rotiso. Why did you ask informally? Yati rotisas. So what is the sound for you informal in the past? Yati rotises. Yati rotises. So we have e for he, she, it, no, and s for you informal in the past. Yati rotises. Did you ask me something? Me rotises kati. Me rotises kati. What did you ask about? About which thing did you ask? Yapio pragma rotises. Very good. Yapio pragma rotises. Yati pragma rotises. I asked you already. I asked you already. Se rotisa idi. Se rotisa idi. I asked you guys already. Sas rotisa idi. Sas rotisa idi. You guys are asking in the present? Rotate. Rotate. And you ask in the present? Rotas. Rotas. So in a standard open form, now we get ante and as with these verbs like rotao, the end au. He or she asks is rotai, rotai. So we keep the a of au, but we also have the e sound of he, she, it. He's not asking. Then rotai. Then rotai. I love. Agapau. Agapau. He or she loves. Agapai. Agapai. You informal love? Agapas. Agapas. You guys love. Agapate. Agapate. So we said pyo is like which, no? Ya pyo pragma. Ya pyo pragma milas. About which thing are you talking? And it's also who. Pios is like who or pia for feminine. If you were to say who do you love? If I say, who do you love, who is behaving like he or like him? Like him. Like him, no? Which is why in more correct English, actually, we say, whom do you love? So this thing that we are learning in Greek, this having to decide whether something is behaving like he or him or she or her, actually is not entirely alien to us. It happens in English only in just very few places. So here's where we would say, whom do you love in very correct English? Pios, the word for who, for masculine, or which, for a masculine thing, is going to behave more like ton, like the word for the or him, rather than any other masculine noun just losing its s. So how would that be? Who, whom do you love? Pion agapas. Very good. Pion agapas. You guys love? Agapate. Agapate. Or esis agapate. So esis, no, is the word for you in like you guys love, you formal love, esis agapate. But the formal or plural you as in I love you guys is? Sas. Sas. So I love you guys. Sas agapau. Sas agapau. So those verbs with the accent on the end that use ate and as for plural, formal and also the informal can also have this A popping up in the we and they forms of the verbs. But these are more like alternative uh, forms that coexist. So for we speak, for example, we could have milume or milame. For they speak, milun, milune, or milane, milan. For we love agapume or agapame. They love agapune, agapane, agapun, agapan. So these forms coexist. And again, this doesn't cause any confusion with the past because we build that from our closed version. So we have agapame, we love, in the present, but we loved would be agapisame. Agapisame. 
and apart from this, the he she it form can be seen with or without the I. So we could have rotai, he she it asks, or just rota agapai, or just agapa. So we see these uh, ao verbs that can end ao or rotao, roto, are a little more varied when it comes to forming the different versions. So we shouldn't be confused when we come across uh, different forms that coexist.